Hi everybody, welcome to BLS Recreational Mining. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the ball mill. In the background you're going to see the jaw crusher. If you watch your previous video you know all about it. Let's start down here at the power. This is a one horsepower motor. We got a four inch pulley pushing an eight inch pulley and then we've got a long one inch shaft going all the way down the side on both ends of the actual ball mill we've got spare tires from the junkyard and they have been welded onto a hundred pound propane tank from home depot the tank has been cut in half and then welded onto two quarter inch plates then the two quarter inch plates are bolted together in the middle of the plates is a four inch square hole with a rod across to keep the balls from bouncing back and forth. What happens is we've got a settling pond at the other end of the room, picks up the water, brings it all the way up to this tray. The water slides down this tray and we feed the ball mill with quarter inch minus gravel that the draw crusher makes. And this is what comes out the other end, sand and clay mud. The ball mill makes it super fine, very smooth, very easy to deal with. As the water washes across, it's like a giant rock tumbler. Inside the ball mill are iron balls, you name it, trailer hitch balls, ball bearings, whatever. I would suggest you not do smaller than a one pound ball. We've done quite a bit of wrought iron uh, fence top balls. You can buy them fairly cheap at Denco Steel or at one of your online iron suppliers who are whoever does wrought iron fences should be able to order you some those one inch or those 1.1 pound wrought iron balls are about this big this is actually a ball from the glory hole mill up by central city i uh, used to be friends with the owner and they had barrels of these things sitting around so i got some some are big some not so big this is actually a garage door type rod so if you're looking for them you know where to get them on top of a pillow block on top on the outside of the rod i put in some collars for the wheel to ride on the wheel is welded to the tank and a hole cut in the middle the entire apparatus is raised up 10 inches on this side that means this tank wants to go downhill so we put in a wheel right here this wheel is wearing out fast this is a rubber wheel on rubber the tires not wearing out but the rubber is so i've got my spare ready to go for when that wears out all the way future projects we put a draw crusher up on top we run them both at the same time as fast as we can feed the draw crusher it feeds the ball mill so our feeding is very simple very basic water needs to go through the entire time the water washes out the sand and small particles okay because this is the lower end we welded on a pipe fitting and then pvc pipe fittings it comes down to this fitting and dumps onto this tray uh this is a magnetic separator we'll describe that in the next video the liquid in the sand that's flowing through the tank washes all the small ground up particles right out onto this works real well as you can see, we've wrapped some floor matting around it, and we've put some soundproofing on the wall. This thing is loud as hell. You will be wearing ear protection. Even if you don't want to, you're gonna be wearing it because it's loud. So we have ear protection when we run this, not because we want to, because we have to. Yes, it's over 100 decibels at four feet. 80 decibels is bad. 100 makes you put on the ear protection, whether you want to or not. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps us make more videos. That helps more people see the videos. Leave comments. I, I need to know what you need to know. And I will answer. I'm answer everybody's comments.